So um, basically, I, I want to write, I want to produce, I, I want to make things, I want to create. You know, I, I, it's nice to be a part of other people's creations. It's 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 far nicer to create. Um, God, that was a long answer. <laughs> Yeah. And how does your wife feel about all these things that you have to do, like coming out tonight for the fundraiser, the long days of the soaps and everything? You know, how does she take it? And you see her here? I thought she was coming. That's all I'll say. <laughs> Next question. How did you feel when you let Max go for Um, He wanted to go. He wanted to go. He had been there a very long time. They do a thing on these shows where they, they have to pay you a certain amount of money. And um, he was at a point where he was counting the words and figuring out how much money they had to pay him for each word that he was saying. Because they were giving him so little to do. And they gave him so little to do for so long that he basically begged every day to be fired. He didn't want to be there. He was totally unhappy. You know, and as much as he loved the fans and felt the loyalty to all of you guys, he needed to live. He needed to have a life. He needed to he needed to experience something else. He had been working on that show since he was a kid. He is a wonderful man. And the funny thing is that since he's been off the show, he's actually about a hundred times nicer than he ever was. You know, he's directing now, and um, he, uh, he's happy. And, 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 and God bless him, you know what I mean? If that's what it takes, God bless him. They were gonna let me go, but I came back because of you guys. Uh, people wrote enough letters, there were enough letters, there was enough support, uh, the ratings actually dropped. Um, and, and, and the funny thing is that um, a more conceited person would think, God, they love me. But you know, I, I, I really understand that it wasn't so much me that they loved, and the network didn't understand this either. It was the story, it was the character, it was the marriage of an actor and writers, and actors, and they fucked that up. They did, they finally gave him a good storyline. I, I mean, we had a character that had been played by 11 different people, and finally the chemical mixture was correct. They had all parts together, and they screwed it up. It wasn't me, now, don't get me wrong, people like me, you know? <laughs> To a certain extent, you know, but I, but I'm not I, I'm not I'm not I'm not the huge draw. If I don't have a great character to play, who the hell wants to look at me? You know what I mean? That's not that. That's the honest to God truth. You know, if you're not playing a really wonderful character, it's not people necessarily that make roles. I mean, it, it, it's it's a combination of great writing, great acting, and great timing. And if you put those three things together, then you can have something like you can have without. And I, I'm telling you, they were on the verge of one of the biggest soap opera happenings in 30 years. I mean, it, it had taken on a momentum of its own, and it wasn't me. It wasn't Kathy. It was you guys, and the writing, and the characters. And that's what it was. You know, I'm real glad to have my job back. Thank you guys very, very much. It's not going to be the same. It's not going to be the same with Michael, and it doesn't matter how hard they try, it never, ever, ever will be the same. You guys will like the character, you'll enjoy the story, I'll entertain you, but it will never take on that momentum. It will never have a life of its own. Again, really long answer. <laughs> Hi, Michael. Okay. Uh, shake it. We're gonna shake it up. Shake, shake, shake. Shake. Okay. 
Number 12. 